to really try and work with institutions and organizations which are very much interested in emanating and finding new public um, in that. And what I mean by that is in, through the building or through the use of architecture, finding a kind of collective civic identity. The simple act of building always does something. It's a kind of it's a psychological construction which forces engagement. We can't ignore it. So things always happen from that, and the question is how we celebrate or, 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 or deny that. This idea of community engagement has kind of grown up very quickly. You know, I mean, it, at its worst, it becomes about a sort of a faux idea about everybody gets contributes to building buildings, Well, we know that doesn't happen. Um, but I think the idea of dialogue um, and, and kind of emanating sort of very systemic ideas from dialogue is very interesting because in a way it offers an opportunity to kind of prepare the end user for the thing that they're going to receive. In Denver we had public lectures and debates about the whole nature of what it was to make a contemporary art museum in the city and you know towards the end we had you know lectures to groups of a thousand people. Um, it, what was fascinating was it became a debate about what is what does, what does architecture do within our community? How does architecture work? Um, how does it empower? How does it kind of um, add to the quality of my, my public space? The, the building is essentially a grey tinted glass, which is really a cladding. It's not glass used as a, a, as, a, as a transparent material. It's glass used very much as a tiling. So it's a, for me, it's a tiled building with windows. I think the most important thing is to is to really not be hampered or burdened or intimidated by the kind of world that's being made now, and to be quite um, open and uh, speculative. I think I think this the, the idea that architecture speculates increasingly, um, longingly, sort of romantically, always about possibilities of the future. I'm just sort of slightly, you know, bright-eyed in the kind of in, in the kind of time where I think lots of things are changing and with that change comes a lot of excitement about what could possibly kind of emanate from it in terms of the built environment.